Hey rookies, what's up? Welcome to another edition of the Bourbon Rookie, where today I am the Cigar Rookie. Um, I'm just doing an impromptu uh, quick video. Um, I was at my local cigar shop and um, they were going to have an event that I couldn't attend for La... How do I say it? La... <laughs> La Palina's uh, Cigars. So Rep was going to come. And he was gonna, you know, they were gonna have something for about five hours. I'm sure they were gonna have specials. So, uh, you know, I asked the cigar, I said, who's, I never heard of uh, La Paulina Cigars. And um, he gave me this. Now, he didn't give it to me, I had to buy it. It was probably about 14 and 15 bucks. Um, I just took the wrapper off. Let me drop that. Uh, let me get this up here. Uh, Nice looking band, uh, nice looking picture, whoever that lady is. Come on camera, adjust. Uh, uh, maybe it's just me, fuck around here. Anyway, it's a 5.550, five excuse me, 5x50 five Robusto. Um, it's got a Habano Medora wrapper, Nicaraguan binder, Nicaraguan filler. Um, funny enough, this company, uh, La Polina, has been around apparently since the 1800s, 1892, I believe. I'm on their website for info. It's a pretty cool website. It's basically a revival of a cigar, of a, a cheapy cigar line that went out of business. And there's a whole story on it, which is actually pretty cool. So this is like a revival cigar. And there's a few cigars. I think they have like 10 different cigars that they're trying to revive the label with. And they, they're using some pretty interesting uh, cigar blenders, um, AJ Fernandez and Alec Bradley and uh, a couple of the guys. Um, but you can get all that info here. It's uh, this description. Okay, this is supposed to be full of robust, powerful flavors, loaded with Central American Lajero leaf. Uh, I love Lajero leaf. Haven't heard of Central American Lajero. Lajero. Uh, so that's interesting. Black Label delivers an exceptional balance of taste that never overpower hints of coffee, tobacco, and a variety of spices all rolled into one for this car lover who likes to enjoy a stick that is bold, rich, and packed with maximum flavor. All right, I'm, I'm in. I'm in. Let's see. Um, good looking cigar. There's a little bit of a, a thing here where the leaves come in sep separating. Hopefully when I cut this, I think I just might punch it just to avoid that splitting even further. Nothing to <laughs> Same, I'm going on too long with smelling this thing. It probably looks perverted. But same uh, profile, just a little bit stronger at the foot with it, which is a little bit more. Uh, of, a, of an oh, obviously it's an open end, so I'm getting a little bit more. It's uh, like a spicy cedar. I'm not really getting anything else other than that. And like I said, I'm, I think I'm just gonna punch this. Hmm. Cold uh, taste of it. Um, it's like a. It's like a. Hmm. It's like a. It's nice. It's like a tobaccoish. Tobaccoish. No, it's like a, um, a cocoa, an earthy cocoa that I'm getting off the wrapper. Not bad. All right, so I really shoved that in there a little too hard. And of course, like a douche, I kind of split the cap there. See that? Uh, hopefully it doesn't create an issue. Of course. Draw seems to be okay. All right, we're heading outside and we are debuting what we're very excited about today, our little Mesa. Have you guys seen these? Very cool. I have two other solo stoves and this is going to be right next to me. I can't wait. So I'm heading out, see you out there.
All right, so we're up and running. Um, cigars lit. Mace is lit. Feels pretty good. Pretty sure the flame's not supposed to be shooting out of there like a, uh, a rocket, but I think it's the wood that I used. Oh, well, I'll survive. That's the whole point. Feels good. Anyway, the cigar itself, the, uh, the, the, the cold draw, I have the cigar in the mouth, it's very sweet, the, the wrapper is very sweet, it's nice. So far that it's lit, I'm not really getting anything, oh, there's no pepper really to speak of, that just kind of hits you at first, you know, it's, there's, there's a subtle black pepper note to it. It's overall just a sweet cocoa, so to speak, or a sweet uh, chocolatey profile with a little bit of a pepper on the end, which is actually pretty nice. It's it's just smooth so far. Nothing to speak of, but um, we'll be back. All right, my light came back on because my flame went out and... Uh, that little guy burns through a lot of wood, and I wasn't prepared. Um, I didn't have enough wood laid out for it. Um, so, thing works great. Puts out a lot of heat when you sit next to it. And now that it's off, I'm a little chilly, but um, definitely worth a buy. If you have the Mesa, I mean, I've got the, uh, the Ranger and the Bonfire, which are great. But if you want just something quick while you're out in 40-50 uh, degree weather... Uh, just make sure you have enough wood for it. You can even do pellets with it. It's great. As for the cigar, um, it's fairly consistent with the flavor profile. Um, nothing really changed other than a hint of ammonia uh, and ammonia taste, which I don't confuse with cedar at all. Ammonia usually indicates that there's some young leaf, right? So um, it's a young cigar and uh, uh, mild to medium bodied, light in the mouth. Um, there's a nice earthy chocolate profile the ammonia doesn't linger on the palate it was just like a a, a little bit of a of a of a flavor change that kind of came in and out but not where it ruined any of the smoking experience for me but uh not bad scar aficionado gave it an 89 i would give it more like an 86 um construction's okay the ash was staying on um but I didn't want to fall on my lap, so I just ashed it. And uh, price point a little too high for me. Again, in my area, you've seen my cigar uh, videos, and it's 15 bucks. I probably, this is a one-shot deal here for me. I, I probably wouldn't pick it pick it up for that. I mean, uh, online, I can get like a, uh, a Le Mission Pete Johnson um, cigar um, for like, eight nine dollars a cigar six dollars something like that which is way better than this um uh so yeah i for me it's not wasn't a horrible smoking experience but it's not my it's not in my wheelhouse if it's something that you're interested in and you can get it for like five or six dollars definitely give it a shot anyway that's gonna do it stay frosty give me a like and a subscribe and we'll see you soon.